Welcome to VW 8.4. Today we're going to talk about proving identities. So it's going to be a little bit different from what you've been doing. Normally you're accustomed to solving. So for example, this is what you've been doing. You do solve for x, let's say like 2x plus 1 equals 0. You get x equals negative 1 half and you circle that, right? That's solving. This is not what we're doing today. We're going to be proving. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove that this left side becomes 6. So the first thing we're going to do is highlight the side we're working with. So I pick the left side and I put a line underneath. You drop an equal sign and we're going to work on this algebraically. So 2x, let's distribute, plus 6 minus 2x. The so 2x is cancel and we get 6. Put a box on it, put a happy face, you did it. Now, if you want to be fancy, in college, some mathematicians put this box right here, and they put QED, and that represents something in Latin about you've done it. But I like the happy face. Number two, I'm going to highlight this left side here. Drop your equal sign. I'm going to split the fraction up. So x squared over x minus 1 over x. You reduce, and look at that, x minus 1 over x. Put a box, happy face, you've done it. Okay, now try the algebra ones right below. Then once you're done, continue on with the video. Now that you've done those algebra ones, I'm going to do a couple of the trig ones just to show you, and then you can finish the rest. Number one, I'm going to highlight or underline it here. Make sure you put the equal sign. So you want to have proper form here. So you put equals, and then cosine x. We know what secant is, that's 1 over cosine. Those cancel. There it is, we proved it's 1. Put a happy face. For number 2, I'm going to pick the left side again. Equals, that sign. And notice how it's divided by secant. So I'm going to put divided by 1 over sine. That's equal to sine times sine. There it is sine squared. Put your happy face, done. Once you're done with the rest of the problems, continue on with the video. Now that you've finished the basics of proving an identity, we can try the more advanced problems. So to do this, we're going to start by establishing the first Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. And that's going to be your main one. And underneath, we're going to write what's called the implied identities, meaning I'm going to move this around algebraically. So for example, I can say cosine squared, that's equal to 1 minus sine squared. And sine squared should be 1 minus cosine squared. So notice how that one identity created two other ones right underneath it. So that's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is grab this one and I'm going to manipulate it algebraically to create something else. I'm going to divide everything by sine squared. If I do that, look what happens. I'm going to get 1 plus cotan squared theta is equal to cosecant squared. So look, it's a whole other identity. And if I follow that same idea, I can manipulate this. I can say that would imply that cotan squared is equal to cosecant squared minus 1. That also means that 1 is equal to cosecant squared theta minus cotan squared theta. Let's go back to the top one. I'm going to change this up. Instead, I'm going to divide by cosine squared. I'll do this in orange. Look what happens. Tan squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. That implies that tan squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. And 1 is also equal to secant squared minus tan squared. So that's pretty cool. 
the even odd, hopefully we can recall these. Sine is odd, which means a negative has to come out. Cosine is even, which means a negative does not matter. And tan is odd, which means a negative will come out. And now you can think of this as like your new tool belt for approaching these problems. So I'm gonna do four of them with you. Then you do the rest of the four for your video work. Let's try this first one. I'm gonna pick the left side. Now in general, when you're picking things, you wanna pick the side that has more to work with. That's always gonna be your typical rule of thumb. And I'll put a, yeah, I'll put a big note here. Pick the side that has more to work with. For the first worksheet, both sides are pretty minimal, so it really doesn't really matter. So now let's try the left. It's going to be more helpful to think of that sine squared like this. Sine of negative theta squared. We do that because now I can grab this negative, pull it out there. And don't forget your equal sign. For these, you want to make sure you have a clean equal sign. One. Now, it's important to note this minus is still there. We have negative sine theta squared. And now, look, the negative right here, you have to understand, that's going to go away because of this squared. So now we have 1 minus sine squared. Notice how this negative did not cancel. And now, you look at this and think, that should look familiar. Look right here. 1 minus sine squared. That is cosine squared. We did it. Circle it, happy face, done. Let's try number two. I'll pick the left. This one wouldn't really matter. Now, if you ever see something squared and a one, you want to look at your table. So I'm looking for a cosecant squared minus one. Look right there. That's cotan squared. Happy face, done. Okay, next one. We can see the left clearly has way more to work with, so let's pick that. For cosine, it's even, so these negatives don't matter. So let's just rewrite that. 1 minus cosine theta, 1 plus cosine theta. And again, don't, have, don't forget your equal signs. Then drop your equals, let's multiply it. This is a difference of two squares, so 1 minus cosine squared. And look at that. This should look familiar. You see a squared and a one right here. That is sine squared. Circle it, happy face, good. Last one. So at this point we could pick the left just for fun. I'm gonna pick the right to show you that it does work. So tan squared, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to look at my table here. I can see right here that tan squared is secant squared minus one. So I'm gonna change it to secant squared minus one. Now looking at that, our goal is to get to this thing right here. So I'm gonna factor. So I'm factor right here. That's a difference of two squares. We did it. Circle it, happy face, good. So the whole premise of these is they're like a little puzzle. You're just trying to prove that one side becomes the other. And you have your tools right here, all these things you can use, everything in our class. And your base is trying to solve the puzzle. Okay, so good luck. And we'll talk about your questions in class.